This is where I'm going to take a little bit of a detour from the tutorial. So on page 72, it's going to ask you to complete more of the struts and corner blocks. So I'm going to have you complete three more corner blocks and two more struts so that when you end up in Creo, you're, uh, you're going to end up like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually have, I'm going to actually have you add the struts really easily now. So first off, I'm going to pick a strut. If I right mouse click on it, I'm going to get a bunch of options. So I'm going to hit repeat. Now, sometimes if that doesn't work, you might want to come over here, pick a strut. So I'm just going to pick that one, right mouse click, and I'm going to hit repeat. And this repeat component dialog box comes up. So what am I wanting to repeat? The strut and how it's going to join the other objects or the corner block. So hit take, click on both coincidences. So those are what I'm going to match my surfaces up to. Now place component, I go add, and I'm going to place it in to that and that there. And I'm just going to continue on. So that surface, that surface, that surface there. Now I can't see it, so I'm just going to hold the shift key down, middle button, pan over, and there and there. Okay, so there's my four struts. Heck of a lot easier now. And I'm going to hit confirm. Now I'm going to place the corner blocks or corner cubes up on top. So right mouse click, and I'm looking for a repeat. It's not there, so I'm just going to click on a corner block over here. Right mouse click, repeat, and this comes up. Take the two coincidences, and now I'm just going to zoom in a bit on this one so I can see it a bit easier. Okay, so I'm going to click on Add, and I'm going to pick that surface and my top surface. And you can see now it's now joined on the right one. So I'm just going to zoom out a bit, and I'll just go here. And I'll click Add, again, there and there, over here, that surface, that surface. And if I've done it right, you can see they're there. And to find the last surface, maybe that surface and then that one. Okay, now there's my four corner blocks. And I'm going to hit Confirm, and I'm done. Now, last thing i got to do is just add the extra struts in. So again, go back to Strut, right mouse click, hold it down, repeat, and grab the surfaces. One, Let's see, I can grab this one, I guess. Two, I'm gonna rotate around. Oh, I can grab that one, that's kind of a bad location at the moment. There we go. It's a shift key, pan it down. There we go, that's much better. And there. And finally, I'm just gonna hold, rotate it a bit. There, there. Now, that's how you quickly add different parts into Pro E and assemble them. That is a heck of a lot easier than manually bringing in one part at a time. So if all the parts are the same, that is what I would do. And that's basically it. You can continue back on the tutorial to add shading effects and rendering.